Hey everyone, welcome to this training video where I will talk about applying the sensitivity labels for data protection in Microsoft Purview. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future videos. In this video, I will cover how the labels are applied across the Office applications, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint sites, meetings and even to the on-premises data using the information protection scanners. The sensitivity labels are integrated into the office applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook. Users can manually apply a label to protect the content or labels can be applied automatically through the policies. These labels enforce the encryption, restrict the access and add the visual markings. This can help in protecting this data across these different applications. Labels can also be used to protect the entire containers like the Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 Groups and the SharePoint sites. When you apply a label at creation, it defines things like whether the site is public or private and if the external users can access it. Talking about the protection of meetings with sensitivity labels, you can use these sensitivity labels to protect the online meetings. Labels are applied to a Teams or Outlook meeting that can define the lobby settings, disable recordings or restrict the chat. This gives you the full control over sensitive collaboration sessions. For organizations with on-premises file servers or the legacy repositories, the information protection scanner lets you classify and label the files at scale. It runs on Windows Server and uses a service account to access and label the local files. Once it is configured, the scanner runs in discovery mode to preview the results or in enforcement mode to apply these labels. You can schedule these scans or you can run them manually from the PowerShell commands. The results show how and where the labels were applied. In a nutshell, these sensitivity labels go far beyond the emails and documents. You can protect the cloud collaboration spaces, virtual meetings and even the legacy on-premises files. That all with a unified Microsoft Purview strategy. This brings to the end of this video. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching.